Hi, Stuart. How are you? Well, thanks, and you? I'm very well, thank you. Good, good, good. Stuart, I, I, I've got a sneaking suspicion you and I have spoken before, but I think uh, that was uh, on, the, on, the, on the debut album. All oh, right. But, um, I can't remember. I don't think I am. So I don't know. <laughs> no, there's been, Maybe you're right. But I, 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 I think um, your profile and everything that comes with it has grown tenfold since then. So, um, <laughs> you know, um, but fantastic. Um, I must just um, I must just mention as well is um, we've uh, we've been sitting with with uh, with uh, with the album for probably the best of two weeks so um, in its finished form and um, I'm absolutely blown away by it. I think the first album um, was sent to me uh, before V2 actually had present uh, representation in South Africa and it, it took took me a while to get into it, but this this album. Um, is certainly, I think, the one that um, is going to cross a lot, a, a lot more boundaries. Do you feel that way? Certainly, um, we're all very um, proud of the record. Um, we all believe that it's a better record than the first record. Um, there's a lot of variation on it, a lot of different songs. You know, you got your, you know, starts off with two uh, upbeat kind of in your face kind of numbers, um, mm. very heavy, and then you know, it finishes off with a, a song which is piano, bass, and drums, and no guitar at all. Um, you know, and I think it's a, it's a very mature album. Um, listening to the songs, you know, we can, you, we can hear that we've all matured. You know, Carrie is a songwriter and uh, as a singer, and all of us as musicians, really. Oh. Um, and we're very, very proud of the record, and uh, you know, everybody, everybody's exp expectations are very high. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, just even from a production point of view, uh, you've got a, um, an almost a, a dry um, a dry production, but um, very, very... Um, a very very full production at the same time, um, and I, 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 you know, for lack of a, a better example, um, I, I compared it very um, very much along the lines of uh, the last Manic Street Preachers album, not the new one, the one before this. Just from the point of view that each single track um, has an instant accessibility to it, which um, what what would you ascribe that to? Is that just time in? Um, yeah, um, uh, just just the way um, just the, just the way that the song the songs didn't get uh, written under any pressure or anything like that. Mm. Um, we went we went back in the studio when we wanted to go back in the studio. Mm. Um, and, you know, just 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 the way they come out. Really, um, uh, we wrote the bartender and the thief in the studio, and we wrote um, stop to fill my car up in the studio. Mm. Um, she take the clothes off is an old song. Um, I was probably about six years old, mm -hmm. and all the rest were written on the road. Um, you know, you never know how it was going to turn out, really. We just went in and we recorded the songs and we put them together, and uh, it was quite a surprise that they sounded, uh, they sounded really good together. You know, the album also makes a very good collection of songs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's not, like, one song that sticks out uh, as being a brilliant track. You know, they're all very, very good tracks. Yeah, there's... And there's I, uh, I think yeah, I think that's the good good thing about making a record. Mm -hmm. you know, there's so many bands that kind of uh, they just have that one or two or maybe three tracks that stick out that jump out to you, and all the rest is very mediocre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I think um, the, the the fact that Stereophonic spent so much time on the road, I think um, especially for the first album and even the EPs before that, um, you were always out on the road. You were always um, playing live. Um, and I think that certain, you know, you certainly hear that um, on this album that um, you're a band that are incredibly together, um, you know, as players. Um, yeah, definitely. Like you just said, we just spend a long time on the road, really. Um, you know, and obviously when you when you do a job like we do, when you do it day in day out for two years, you know, you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot better at it. Mm. Um, you know, and you're gonna grow and you're gonna mature, and that's exactly what happened to us. You know what I mean? We we grew, we, 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 we matured over the, over the two years and uh, we just went back in the studio and uh, recorded the album and uh, it sounds very good. Mm, 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 mm. Because I mean, even from, uh, from a songwriting perspective as well, um, as I say, I, 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 I keep on saying it, but it's, um, I was actually just saying to the record company here how, how absolutely fantastic uh, this album has sort of come together. 
uh, from, you know, from a lyric uh, perspective as well as uh, uh, just an arrangement perspective, which um, again is that something that you would uh, you know would would ascribe to obviously just taking what you did on the first album and tweaking it uh, to the point that you have what you have now. Um, yeah, in so many words, yeah, definitely. You know what I mean. Um, if, if you look at Kelly's, uh, the way that he writes, it's, it's, it's written in the same vein, but obviously the subject matter has changed. Mm. Um, you know, the first album was very small town kind of stories, and you know, rightly so. We had never been anywhere else. Um, we had we had never visited any countries in the world. We'd never seen anything, and you know, we we were lucky enough to sign a record deal and. You know, we were privileged enough to go all around the world and uh, see these uh, different countries and different places. And, um, you know, that's just things that have happened to us and things that we've heard and funny things that happened to us in those countries. You know, and, and our, our thoughts on the countries. Um, so, you know, it's all just written from a different kind of uh, perspective, really. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, when you look at the album, what, what stands out for you as being sort of... Um, you know the single, the single biggest thing that that differentiates this album from the last. Um, probably I stopped to fill my car up. The last song, um, we all tried to make a conscious effort. When Kelly played it to us, we, us and uh, ourselves and the two producers just said, you know, let's make a conscious effort and not put any guitar on this song. Um, and I think it went that way. You know what I mean? I think it's really good. It's a really uh, change of direction for us as well um, and it's something really different for us you know what I mean and also the words are very um, very haunting in a way and very um, uh, how can I say in, a, in that roll, roll doll kind of um, twist kind of thing you know what I mean mm-hmm. so um, I think it's I think as a song it's probably the, got the best collection of both things best mm-hmm. music and, and the best words uh, it's really really good mm-hmm. because I think this this album certainly as much as um, the first was a fantastic album, I think, and it worked incredibly well for you in the UK. Um, when I when I hear the new album, I hear the new album as an album that is um, perfectly suited to embrace an international um, audience. Not to say that the last didn't, but this one even more so because it has yeah. it has all those elements in it. Um, definitely, definitely. Uh, like, like you just said, I think it's uh, I think it's going to be a bit, little bit more appealing record. You know what I mean? It's a little bit of something on there for everybody, really. Mm. Um, you know, like we like to back to the beginning of the interview. You know, if you like your rock songs, you know you got your rock songs on. If you like your your slow ballady types, you got them. And you know, if you like your words, you kind of Bob Dylan, Neil Young kind of thing. You, you got that. It stopped to fill my car up, and you know what I mean. And 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 uh, and uh, I wouldn't believe a radio kind of feel. You know what I mean? When it's kind of Neil Young, Bob Dylan esque kind of thing. You know, and it's um. Is there a bit of something on it for everybody, which is good, really? Mm, mm, mm. I certainly think so because even on tracks that I think people. Um, you know, who would swing to to all of the different styles that you've uh, just mentioned there. Um, each track um, has has something which follows through to the next, and uh, it, it makes you want to listen to the whole the whole album, whether it's the heavy track that you're looking for or the lighter, um, you know, more um, sort of Dylanish type track. Yeah, mm. um, definitely. You know, it mean, has got that kind of. Uh Kind of uh, the way the way that it runs, it runs very sweetly, and like you just said, it does make you want to listen to the next song, mm. um, which you know is a good sign of a good record. You know what I mean? It's always uh, it's always difficult to judge records. You know, we put a lot of time and effort into uh, making sure the running order is right. You know what mm. I mean? Because that's the thing that makes you listen. You know, if, if songs were jumbled about, it probably wouldn't run as nicely as it does. Mm. You know, we, we spend a long time in doing running orders. I think they're very important. So mm. yeah, it's good. And I think um, this album. Um, will will translate well, and I'm sure you you've, you've already played it live. But certainly, an album that will translate incredibly well um, in in the live arena. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, we we've done a we've done a British tour at the end of the year, um, just before Christmas, mm-hmm. and um, you know, we played we played about um, seven or eight songs in the set, mm-hmm. um, and they all went down very very well. Mm-hmm. You know, we're just looking forward to getting back out on the road now and uh, playing the stuff again, mm-hmm. which will be good. Yeah, because I mean, it must be an exciting time for you because you, you know, you, you spend so much time building up a great um, fan base, uh, which you now have, um, and now you're going back and the, the, this is round two. So, um, is it an exciting time for you? Oh yeah, of course. You know what I mean. We've been doing, uh, we've been doing what we're doing now, promo uh, stuff since January the ninth. You know what I mean. We haven't stopped really. Yeah. So, you know, we can't wait. To, can't wait to get out on the road. Um, this is this is probably this is the last day of promo. 
So this is, this is it. And then, um, then we're going out on the road. And uh, we're really looking forward to really getting back to um, the environment that we all know the best mm. on the stage. Mm. And is, is this going to be the album that you guys um, travel outside of the territories that you did on the first album? Are you looking to perhaps uh, extend it to um, America and, uh, and other territories? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went, we went to America on the last record, and um, you know, it was, uh, it was, it was successful, and it wasn't successful. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, on the coast, you know, New York and LA and stuff like that, and San Francisco and Phoenix and stuff. It, it, it was, it, it was good, but um, in in Middle America, it was, it wasn't very good. Mm. But um, you know, we we go back there. We keep on plugging away. Mm. Um, at the end of the day, we're not gonna put, we're not gonna jeopardize the rest of the world just to go and try and break America. So, sure. um, you know, we built up a very big fan base in France, in Japan, in Australia, New Zealand, Germany, mm. you know, Spain, Italy, all through Europe, really. Mm. Um, you know, and those 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 parts of the world are very important to us as well. Mm. You know, because. Um, we have a lot of fans there, and we've got to go there and entertain them as well. So, um, but un- undoubtedly, we'll uh, we'll probably end up going to America sometime this year. Because mm-hmm. I've got a sneaking suspicion that this is going to be the album that uh, elevates you. Um, you know, I think probably what album three should have done. It's going to happen on album two. I've just got a very good feeling, you know, about this album. Hopefully, hopefully, it'd be nice if it did. Mm, I think so. I think so. Um, well, Stuart, thank you so very much. Um, it's been an absolute thank you. pleasure. Um, and um, I can't say it enough, but congratulations. I think uh, it's certainly been, this is certainly my uh, my first and ho- hopefully my last uh, favorite album of uh, 1999. So a nice way to, to see you guys through to the millennium. Yeah, it would be very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.